this is just one other little stat that I think everybody's sleeping on a little bit, uh, which is the block size uh, chart. So if we look at the all time chart, so obviously there was only BTC from uh, you know 2009 up until 2017, and then the two split. And the reason they split was because BTC was at the maximum cap to block size and Bitcoin Cash thought we want to raise the block size. BTC didn't. So BTC just stayed at that same cap and then the transactions died off a bit and then slowly build up again. And then here you have the most recent run and the fee spike and everything that we've talked about. But Bitcoin Cash split to have a larger block size because they believe that would be the more efficient path where you could have handle more transactions, etc. And then for these you know, for the next four years, uh, essentially, it has it has not even come close to making. I mean, there was a couple of brief spikes, but it hasn't really been making use of that capacity because they split off. They lost the brand name, and they were in the minority fork. They had increased the block size, but it didn't really have any impact. Like, it was not. Uh, it was not like if the network had split and there'd been one megabyte of traffic on BTC and one megabyte on BCH, then BCH would immediately be unleashed and could sort of accelerate ahead because it was more efficient. No, because BCH was the smaller fork and a lot of less people were using it and it had to struggle through and find its place in the market, go through its own forks, build its own community uh, and so on. It has had smaller blocks for, whole this, for all this time. So the big block theory of proving that it's more efficient has been basically irrelevant this whole time because it hasn't even had one megabyte worth of transactions until very, very recently, just when I started doing this podcast. What do you know? Uh, you know, we started following this story and with the noise.cash and everything, the um, it got up to being closer to about one megabyte. The fees stayed low, right? When we look at this chart of the fees here, this chart, this is the Bitcoin cash, is this red line down here. It's so small, you can't even see it. And look, it just, it hasn't even, budged it's just been flat at you know less than one cent just the whole time uh, even as the the blocks have been filling up because it has a higher block size limit so it just puts everything into the next block and so now we had the noise.cash tip uh, batching and but the transactions are starting to to ramp up and so the blocks are starting to fill up and now bitcoin cash is using more block space than bitcoin is because at the same time bitcoin btc has has dropped off so their fees are lower and they're fine, but that's because nobody's using it. So it's not growing, it's actually shrinking. The network is shrinking uh, because when there's no price hype, there's no reason for anyone to use Bitcoin BTC. Bitcoin Cash is building real commerce. And so the blocks are slowly filling up. And so now we're at the point where we should see uh, over the next six months, 12 months, 24 months, we'll see as the Bitcoin Cash community finally uh, has built itself back to the same point that Bitcoin BTC was at in 2017. And they thought, look, we should go with a big block route. Now we're only now going to see the payoff for that as because from here, the Bitcoin Cash community, as they grow and as they build a network effect, as more people trade with Bitcoin Cash, it won't run into one of these huge fee crises, uh, which goes on in every time BTC starts get roll to get rolling. So BCH can start to get rolling and not get uh, blockaded on these on these fee issues.